Hi guys, it's Miyamon. Have you ever wondered what Japanese people ate in the past? Today, I will show you Japanese traditional meals from Edo period. Edo period, the final period of traditional Japan, a time of internal peace, political stability, and economic growth founded by Tokugawa Ieyasu. Basically, it's the period where there were samurais and people had those funny looking haircuts. Before Edo period, Japanese people used to eat two meals a day, which is breakfast and dinner. During Edo period, the use of lamps and candles increased, which allowed longer work hours and the need for three meals a day. No mean farmers. Let's start by making the meal that farmers ate. I will be making their dinner. Farmers in Edo period grew rice. However, most of the rice was given up as annual tax, so they did not get to eat much of this rice. They would take a small portion of unpolished rice and add millet and other assorted grains, along with leftover bits of sweet potatoes, yams, and vegetables. Polished rice was only offered during village festivals, therefore farmers had a strong longing for white rice. Here is the meal, brown rice with sweet potato bits. This is pickled vegetable. Next, I will make a clear broth soup with turnip leaves. In present day Japan, people throw away these leaves. Commoners in urban areas would eat white rice often, but farmers would use whatever they can eat, such as stems of plants, edible wild plants, and various beans to make their meals. Dinner is made. Now let's eat. Ja, itadakimasu. Chotto nigai. Mmm. Mmm. Waru ku wa nai. Mmm. 悪くはないけどこれを毎日食べれるかって言われたらノーだね。<笑>食べれなくはないっていう感じです。庶民、コモナーズ。江戸は located、in、present、day、東京。in、the、second、half、of、江戸、period、people、who、worked、outside、of、their、homes、started、to、eating、out。therefore、Restaurants and food stalls become to increase. People living within the city of Edo were able to enjoy gourmet foods. Popular dishes during this time were soba noodles, tempura, unagi, which is eel, and sushi, served at stalls. Even nabe, which is hot pot, was born during this time. Now I will make a popular dish, which is miso soup with minced natto. Polished rice was very common in big cities. Therefore, unless you are very poor, you are able to enjoy white rice. Next, I will cook small smelt fish. Edo people would eat 1.7 kilograms, which is 3.8 pounds of rice per day. This is 10 times more than the current Japanese person. However, the biggest worry during Edo period was Edo disease or vitamin deficiency. Especially vitamin B1. This caused heart failure, swollen legs, and neurological disorders. This sometimes led to death. These symptoms were fixed when patients returned home to rural areas. Vitamin B deficiency did not occur in rural areas because they were not able to eat white rice often. After cutting the tofu, I will add miso paste and leafy greens together. It will be sold like this at food stalls. All you would need is add hot water. This can be considered Japan's first instant ready-made food. 
Here comes a typical commoner's lunch. いただきます。いただきます。美味しそう。うん。美味しい。納豆のおかげでなんかトロトロ感が出てて、すごい美味しい。うん。やっぱり白米だね。バッチリ美味しい小餅ししゃもって言って卵が入ってるんだよねちょっとかわいそうだけどでもすごい美味しいこういう食事なら毎日食べれるかもヘルシーだしね大名フューダルロード During the Edo period フューダルロード would have their own farming grounds so they never had any issues with food First I will grate this yam We call this grated yam as tororo. Tororo is known to have lots of vitamins, minerals, and fiber. People ate this to recover from exhaustion and boost their body's strength. It's considered an old Japanese superfood. Next, I will cook rockfish salted with rice malt. Finished! Feudal lords would have two courses. The first course usually has rice, soup, pickled foods, sashimi, and a stewed dish on small plates. The second course would have a clear broth soup and cooked fish. Cooked fish was almost always a small salted kiss fish. This was because kiss fish was considered to bring good fortune. By the way, this is just breakfast. Itadakimasu! えー、何から食べようすごいなえー、っと<笑>卵豆腐から食べますうーんツルツルで美味しいきんぴらごぼううーん今と一緒煮物うーんいいね味が染みてる次はかき揚げうん美味しいこれねこんなにたくさんあるじゃんこれ朝ごはんなんだって<笑>信じられる<笑>朝ごはんこんな食べれる<笑>絶対これ全部食べれてないよねもったいない農民さんはあんなに悲しいご飯だったのに<笑>次とろろご飯うーうわいやー贅沢だなー長芋は高いんだようーんすごいね江戸時代からこんなに豪華なものを食べてたんだね今でも全然豪華だよこれは現代でもすごく限られたお金持ちしかこれを毎日食べることはできないかなと思いますお魚甘みが強くてすっごい美味しいじゃあゆっくり全部食べたいと思いますもし食べれなかったらお昼ご飯に持ち越したいと思いますじゃあね Hope you enjoyed this video I love to hear your comments about the meals and hear your favorite Japanese food Be sure to like, subscribe and follow me on Patreon and Instagram Thanks for watching and see you next time Bye bye That's my video for today. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up or いいね down below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Japanese fun. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me on the comment section. じゃあまたね See you next time!